Well, good morning, everybody. <clears throat> it is the May hog season here at North Saudi Refuge. And as you already seen, I'm taking a crossbow. I just I just can't put a slug threat 12 gauge, man. I just, I, I can't do it. I'm sorry. So anyways, yeah, I think my videos have got an effect because used to you could use that four shot or less on them during the, uh, the hog season. And uh, they changed that this last go around to slug only. So state, when I was complaining, I wasn't complaining to rob me of ammunition types i was complaining so you'd hopefully let us use like deer rifles you know um actual effective stuff i mean good lord how i mean there's no limit on they get four or five hundred pounds and y'all let us take a 22 after them rim far a deer might might get 240 and you let us use center fires on them come on it's three times the animal and you're making us use a squirrel gun come on come on bump it up to a deer rifle just just let us get in there and be effective uh so anyway it's just a pet peeve i got i mean what i mean seriously what kind of sense does that make but anyways waiting on a buddy of mine to show up down here um like you already seen taking the crossbow we're not going to be taking the kayaks because i don't think the water's high enough and i could be wrong about that but the water's been low about the last year or so, and you just, you can't get into a lot of places you used to, to could get. So when they ain't blocking off roads, they're lowering the water to where you can, I mean, they're really, really making it rough on the hunters, I'm telling you. I, I'm actually bringing my predator call because fox, bobcat, coon, possum, those animals right there, uh, coyote, I don't know if it's a coyote anyways, basically predators, coons, and possums, you're allowed to hunt during any other scheduled management area hunt using arms and ammunition for those hunts so in other words this is one of the few times you get to use broadheads on a coon and i'm bringing my little electric call today so on the way back to the ridge i'm going to be setting up and trying to do some predator hunting trying to call in a few things shoot them with a crossbow uh no adam gets a good chance at him i'll let him have a chance at him but uh that way it's kind of we're kind of somewhat stealth there ain't no gunshots you know we're kind of stealthy getting back to the ridge and once we get back to the ridge then it's hog hunting but either way so hopefully we get a mixed bag today so stay tuned for that okay now let's get on with it and there he is Yeah. It'll show okay. Holy crap, people. That is... That is a... He didn't even finish. It's a crawdad hole, by the way. He's starting to make his mound right here. Y'all, that is massive. I just hope that camera's doing that some justice. But anyway, he ain't even done. When he's done, it's probably going to be up to here. It's going to be almost a... Probably 10 inches high. And that... I mean, it's that big around down in there. Good Lord. And we're probably, what, 200 yards away from water? Every There's another crowd at home. My goodness. Anyways. I don't know what it is neither, but if y'all do, let me know. Mm. 
Well, he ain't scared of much, is he? <laughs> well, go on now. <laughs> All right, everybody, we back at it again. Uh, <laughs> called it quits the other day. Bless that way, Adam's hard. Uh, <laughs> age gets to everybody, I guess, and it, it gets you a lot worse when you've been hunting for 11 hours straight, turkey hunting that morning, and trying to wade the swamps with a young little idiot, you know. Not a good combination, but either way, he, he about had enough, and I can't blame him, heck. I ain't going to lie to you, I wasn't overly looking forward to it neither, but either way, here I am a couple days later. We're going to try it again. Uh, couldn't bring myself to take a shotgun. I just I just can't do it. Not since it's slug only now. I can't do it to my shotgun. And I, need, I just need to let people come in here with deer rifles and get it over with. That's, that's bull crap, but either way, this is really the best option I got right now is a crossbow and it's not really a great option. I'm not gonna lie to you. Last time he was in here, we seen a hog track. Probably 75% of as long as my hand right there. So that's a huge, there's a big boy back in here somewhere. At least one, we only seen one big set of tracks. Seen some piglet tracks, a couple of medium sized tracks, about normal sized tracks. So there's a big one back here somewhere and I'm not traditionally a trophy hunter. I mean meat's meat and I don't you know I don't care about horns just that and other, but there's something about a four hundred pound pig that gig gets to me. I can't I can't hang I can't stand it, I'm telling you, I gotta get in there. But either way, um here the other day he has that on X hunt and we went all around the edges. We didn't find no other way to get in there. We had a Thomas Edison hunt, we uh like I was talking about Thomas Edison, they said that, uh, <laughs> that he didn't, uh, somebody asked him one time, how did it feel to fail a thousand times trying to invent a light bulb? And he said, I didn't fail a thousand times. I discovered a thousand ways how not to invent a light bulb or something to that effect. So that's kind of the case here. We found, uh, we was trying to find different ways to get to that ridge and we discovered about a thousand ways how not to get to that ridge. <laughs> So, it is what it is. I'm just walking in there. As low as the water's been everywhere, I don't trust trying to take a kayak in there. So, we're gonna give it a go. Uh, gonna be a lot of walking. I, I ain't trying to be stealthy. I'm just trying to get to that ridge and get it over with. That's where they're always at. You don't never see them anywhere else. So, I'm just gonna bum rush it over there. Now, it's fixing to rain. Supposedly this evening at about seven o'clock. We're supposed to have about a 25% chance of rain. And I'm gonna be way back in here. I done brought some lights and I'm gonna stay in here till dark. Then I'm gonna come out of here. So, yeah, I don't recommend it. Dang armadillo hole. I don't recommend it. It is not a wise idea to be back in here by yourself after dark with daggum archer equipment and a makeshift knife on your belt. It ain't a bright idea, but I, I just got to get in here, folks. I'm sorry. Even if I wasn't making YouTube, I mean, I've, I've just got to get back in here. It's just, <laughs> like I said, a 400-pound pig, it just does something to me, I'm telling you. But either way, let's get on back in here, and if anything happens, interesting happens between here and the ridge, I'll let you see, but I'm just trying to bum rush to that ridge right now. So we'll see y'all.
Okay. It's getting dark. Uh, went all the way to my ridge. Even that water has not been heavily used. So I don't know what the pigs have swapped over to doing, but uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But anyways, it's fixing to get dark. I've only got so much room on top of my head, and I'm fixing to use this old headlamp to get out of here. So, sorry, I ain't gonna be trudging you through the dark getting out of here. I probably got an hour, hour and a half of walking. And I seen like eight or nine water moskins earlier. And I do not want to try to cross that particular beaver dam where I saw those eight or nine water moskins in the dark. So, I'm just gonna, like I said, Love y'all, love to take y'all along, but there's only so much room on my head, and this is a little more about survival right now. So, uh, either way, I'll touch base with you sometime or another. And if this is the last time I'm recording anything, um, it's been fun. Uh, appreciate y'all. Hopefully, we'll, <laughs> we'll be talking to you again. <laughs> you know, there's something about a about seeing 14 snakes, 14 water moxkins that were only just a step away within a 60 yard time frame. It just does something to me. I can't hardly explain it. But, uh, and they something about getting back at the truck at 10.30 at night. It also just does something to me. And they something about being in the woods armed only with a knife and a crossbow topped on top of all that that just does something to me and as much as I love all y'all um y'all ain't seeing no more hog hunting until some cold weather I'm, I'm telling you that place it's pitiful and the thing was the only thing I found was a hog jaw that was it there was the, the waller I went to the sign wallers usually tore all up all kind of fresh mud and this thing wouldn't it wasn't jack crap, so as much as I love y'all, that's probably the hog hunting for the year. Until next season anyways, or something. Something's got to give. But either way, I hope y'all enjoy. Okay, if y'all enjoyed that, y'all are sickos, but I love you anyways. Y'all be good. Bye.